Hi everyone and welcome to the SRS Enterprise How To Series. In this video, we will cover the user management and role management features available in Centerprise. In version 8 of the product, we have introduced a role-based access control mechanism, which means that now administrators can grant or restrict access to various users within the organization based on their role in the entire data management cycle. For example, a person who designs data integration jobs using Centerprise client application does not need information or access to the server side of the things. An entirely different team or person will be responsible for monitoring server health or troubleshooting any server-related issues. Similar to how a developer in an organization will not need to investigate server health, an IT administrator will not need access to design data integration jobs. Their roles and tasks are defined within the organization and with user access control and role management features, Centerprise lets administrator translate those roles within the product as well. Let's see how you go about creating and managing users and the privileges assigned to them. When you run the application for the first time, sign in using the default credentials provided on your help site. The username will be admin and password will be admin at 123. Once you are signed in, you now have the options to create new users and we recommend you to do this as a first step. Create your own user account, log out of the default account and log in using your own credentials to keep your data secure and confidential. To do that, go to the server explorer window Right click on the default node and select user list from the context menu. A new window called user management will open up. On this screen you will see a list of all registered users in Centerprise. To create or register a new user, click on the register user icon on the top left corner of the screen. A window will open where you will have to fill in the registration details. Let's create a test user. I'll provide the first name, last name, username and password and click register. The user we just created will now appear in the list over here as you can see. There are some other options on the top left corner screen. If you hover over to each of these icons, it will tell you exactly what the icons are for. You can edit user roles, we will discuss about the user roles in a bit edit user information, deactivate an existing user, activate a deactivated user, or delete a user. Now that you have created a new user, let's see how you can assign roles to these users. You can select the specific user from the list and right click on it. From the context menu, select edit user roles. On this screen, you can see all the roles that are there by default in Centerprise. We have three different assignments, root, developer, and operator. Each of these roles have different privileges and access. Select the role that you want to assign to this new user. Let's say my new user is a developer. I'll select that, assign the role, and click OK. If you want to browse the role management options, Go back to the default server node in the server explorer window and right click on it. Go to the role list option in the context menu and a role management screen will open. Here you can see the roles that are created by default in Centerprise. You can also create a custom role. Again, look for the icons at the, in the top left corner and click on the add new role icon. You will be asked for the name and whether the new role has super user privileges or not. Specify the name and click OK. Let's call it a test role. Now let's assign resources to this new role that we just created. I'll select the role, right click on it and select edit role resources. On this screen, I can assign the new user access to the resources in Centerprise. Let's go back and sign in using the role that I created. I will log out from the current account and sign in using my new credentials. Note here that I have assigned developer privileges to this new user 
and developers don't have access to deploy jobs. So if I go to the job monitor, I can see that this user has restricted access to make edits on the job monitoring screen. This is how you can manage that is restrict or grant access to various resources within Centerprise to different people in your organization. Thank you for watching the video. Let us know if you have any questions in the comments below.